another must visit place of Puerto Vallarta travel is Sayulita, there is the white snowy beach. If you are a surfing lover, there will never let you down. You will find the best Mexican food whatever on street or restaurants. You also may enjoy the exicited nightlife. If you like the content of this video, please visit our website www.delightedoutdoors.com for more detailed information and exciting content. Almost everyone who visits Sayulita will definitely stroll along the riverside strolling around the Mercado Rio Cule Market. There are lovely fountains, crumbling rope bridges and some great street art, as well as a museum and a cultural center. The bridge to Mercado Rio Cule is by Arta City Center and Zona Romantica, a gay zone of Sayulita, you really can't miss it. The Cathedral Parroquia de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe is the center of Sayulita. There is no denying that there are some gorgeous turret crests, which are really beautiful. Another good place is the square just one block from the cathedral, decorated with colorful Popol Picado, and go down from that block is Malacan. If you are around December, you may see some traditional parades and celebrations for Notre Dame of Guadalupe on December 12th. If you like the farmer's market, then Friday market is worth to go. You can buy some food for lunch. This is an interesting experience and it becomes most of the conversations about Sayulita. Playa de los Muertos is a smaller and less popular beach, just behind the cemetery, and it's amazing. Busy with locals on weekends, so go for it during the week. The fish and shrimp skewers from the local hawker are great. Sometimes Playa los Muertos can become a bit crowded, especially during peak seasons. However, Constant music, happy crowds and fun atmosphere make the beach so enjoyable. One of my favorite things here is that in just a few minutes, the supplier will bring delicious food to satisfy your cravings. Open your eyes and look at the colorful candy carts. Sayulita is named one of Mexico's 120 Pueblo, meaning magical towns. These towns are designated by the country's tourism bureau to promote the country's unique cultural heritage and history, and its streets are filled with dazzling candies. Strolling through the vibrant and colorful streets, there are places worth exploring in every corner. It is almost empty all the time, you will be troubled by zero suppliers. It is quite easy to take a bus to Boca de Tomatlan and a water taxi to Quimixto. In the morning, Hike to the Quimixto waterfall, swim in the cold swimming pool, have lunch at one of the two restaurants on the beach, and then grab a few bottles of beer from the local market and enjoy a few hours quietly on the beach. At the end of the beach, you can also find a small and lively beach bar at Zinalani Boutique Hotel, so Quimixto is a bit like an adventure where you choose the level of seclusion you really want. This famous hidden beach and ecological island that was once closed to tourists are once again open to tourists. It is one of the top tourist attractions in Puerto Vallarta. There are several options to get there, and you will see a lot of marine life on the way to the island, and you might even worry about getting too close to the humpback whale. Arrived at the protected island, where there are caves and private beaches, but you have to swim to get there. Compared with the land-based coast of Malacan, Islands Los Arcos is known for its seabed rock formations and the good snorkeling conditions around it. Happily, this means that Puerto Vallarta has a lot of boats and excursions, including stops at Los Arcos. Unfortunately, this means that a large number of ships are docked at Los Arcos. Please check the weather before deciding to go there. The Plaza Los Arcos is a good place to hang out at night because there are always many performances there. Every Thursday and Saturday around 6 p.m., live music is played in the pavilion of Los Arcos. This is a good time to admire the cityscape and sounds of the day, especially on weekends when crowds gather on the stage near Los Arcos to enjoy the performances of burlesque street performers. Self-Guided Food Tour Walk down the street and follow your nose. Order something you have never heard of. 
When you don't know what it is called, point to the food. Have fun. Puerto Vallarta is a great place to try food outside the comfort zone. Some of my favorite budget meals in the old town are tacos outside the Guadalajara Pharmacy in Insigentes, Senatoria Celia in Lazaro Cardenas, or any busy looking clean with an advertising Comida Corita sign in front. You cannot leave Mexico without trying Pozole, and you cannot leave Vallarta without trying the Jalisco version. This traditional Mexican soup is made with polenta and is cooked in many different ways throughout the country. In Jalisco, the most common is red pozole. The soup is cooked with chicken, pork, and various fresh ingredients. It is super delicious. If you like our channel, please like and share, subscribe. And don't forget to press the small bell beside. So that we can notify you of new videos. If you have any comments or what kind of video you want us to make, please leave a message to us.